check that the stops are set so the rolls cannot touch each other. Next, set the position of the roll stack. The roll stack is usually set very close to the die during operation, but the rolls must never touch the die. Positive stops must be set to limit the forward travel of the roll stand. Next, check that the threads and lock nuts on all the stop devices are clean and properly lubricated. After checking the roll stops and setting the position of the roll stack, move the roll stack away from the die to make room for threading the web. Now the operating conditions for the equipment are set. All the equipment that operates at a specific temperature must be warmed up. The die must be thoroughly heated before extrusion begins. Die heat up can be done online with a die in place or offline on a sturdy support. A new die or one that has been in storage should be brought up to its operating temperature slowly and then allowed to heat soak for one hour at operating temperature. This is done to allow the die heaters, which can pick up moisture when they are not in use, to dry off slowly during heat up. Moisture in the heaters can cause premature heater failure.